I wanted today and actually I am joining him in his kitchen is a very good friend of mine, Chef Russell Ogbarali of Penthouse Catering. Chef Russell, thank you very much for having thank us you. in your thank kitchen. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for uh, having me be your uh, launch for your new episode. Like This is awesome. I can't believe don't be so flattered. You're more like a guinea pig. <laughs> you know that, right? I know, I know, I am, I am. Listen, we've known each other for many years now. Yeah. So one thing that you should know about me is that, you know, I'm all about looking for benefit in people. <laughs> and also another benefit, of course, is amazing food. But today we're going to be talking about the sensual aspect of eating with your hands. I mean, it is such a sensual, um, sensual act. I mean, food and sex are so interconnected and I mean those are the only two forms of art that involve all five of our senses but I mean what if we engage one of our senses more than the other and in this case it's not only our sense of taste but also our sense of touch so I am really really excited yeah me too me too I mean this is such a something that you 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 you, you brought this up to my attention a couple months ago and I was just like we do that anyways like I mean, we know the benefit we understand that and and uh, I'm just happy that you guys, that's going to be something that's so faux pas that you're going to realize that, um, you know what, this is something that you should do, especially with your partner. Eat out of the same plate together with your hands and we'll give you a little example today, but we won't eat out of the same plate. <laughs> right, but it's still going to be very, very exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. Listen, Russell, I also want to mention the fact that we are in a very special kitchen. This was the kitchen where Chef Russell Ogbarali started his iconic business penthouse catering and I say iconic because it really is iconic business here in Toronto Thank you. and uh, listen you are a self-made man you have done food competitions you have started this business from nothing and I'm very excited because I was there when you started your that's business right, yeah, that's right you you actually Emanuela <laughs> as you all know um, she <laughs> she helped Keep talking. she actually actually did really help my career in the sense of what when we did back in the Rogers days and and she was actually um, you know we had the show home cooking and um, you know what we actually filmed uh, in this condo it wasn't as it is today right now but um, that actually helped uh, gave me a lot of credibility into a lot of other television shows programs that I've been asked to I always get asked to be on other types of types of uh, sorry uh, competitions television demos stage demos I, I, I sometimes do things in front of thousands of people and it was this uh, lady here who helped that make that happen and it, um, things just really really took off I'm, I'm you know thank you so much I mean it's not about me but keep talking I love it. <laughs> <laughs> listen it's it, it's all my pleasure and also I want to mention one more thing mm. I mean when we came in for the first time um, I thought well this guy has never been on television and I thought you know this might be this might be a rough day and then there was Chef Russell, who just came out and became a celebrity overnight. He was like my TV prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I give it all back to her. I mean, like a Thank lot of you. confidence goes a long way, but um, it was the first time I did anything with television and it was a great success. I mean, I actually remember checking up on it on their website and it had the most hits out of any other show. So um, yeah, things are great. I mean, we're going to be doing things so exotic today we're bringing it back to my roots to mauritius my take on it though keeping it authentic keeping it a little twist with, with chef russell and panels catering and for emmanuela okay so get ready because you're going to see things you're going to be like i don't know what they're doing with their hands and you're going to be like what and then i'm going to explain a little bit more when we get to the table but here so what we have right here so if you can see it this is a traditional Mauritian lamb biryani. It smells good, so good. Mm. And then what she's smelling is the saffron, and that's what gets you in, right? Kind of like what? Aphrodisiac. Know. That's one of the most, <laughs> one of the world's oldest aphrodisiacs in the world. So Chef Russell is really good at trying to get us in the mood here. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, if you want to impress your girl, you just got to be in the kitchen. Trust me, okay? So and you should be trying to impress all the time. You gonna help me out here? Of course I'll help you out. Know, That's what it. I'm here for. I'm here for eating and helping you and also for the wife. She just wanted to have free food, don't <laughs> <we? laughs> And also I'm after quality because I know that this guy, when he cooks, his food rocks. So <laughs> So anyway, how could I help you? I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> give you I'm gonna give you this. If you can just help get some of the rice, keep it on top to keep the flavors sure. into so the lamb. Do we kind of just stack it on top? Yeah, so just be careful. We just don't want it too much, just enough, and then we'll garnish it at the All same right. time. All right. It looks amazing. And by the way, you know, I love lamb. 
lamb just has such wonderful texture, right? Speaking of sensual eating, you try to put plant, a lamb on your plate, and I mean, it's fragrant and the texture and uh, just the way it even, like, you know, you have to kind of put a little bit of effort when it comes to chewing it. Absolutely. So that's another aspect of, of the but ultimate it's also, sensual eating. I don't, sorry, but it's also an acquired taste. Some people yes. just who've never been used to it, been, you know, I feel sorry for you guys. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's something that you really have to try, really get yourself into. And by the because a lot of people are like, oh, you're eating a piece of lamb and whatever. But I mean, like, you really, really have to get into it. So if you can add a little bit of that. Oh, you I'm want me to add a little bit side. more? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to add some pickling ginger. So again, oh, so, so sensual. Good. Tell us why you wanted to do the show. Oh, so you're putting me on the spot I have to put now. you on the spot, okay. too. I want like, you know, why, why is this, you know, show? Why, or, or tell me why you, you, you knew why that it's... Convenient or tell us what you mean you your hands. Well, I think that we are really depriving ourselves and I've been talking about this for years I think that we're depriving ourselves from the sensual pleasure of engaging our senses and When I you know kind of we I mean we constantly talk to each other But whenever we reconnected the last time we kind of Pondered you know over the idea of eating with your hands and I said, you know This is something that we really got to talk about because our sense of touch when we're eating especially in North America is really kind of disconnected mm -hmm. and uh, and and it's true because um, We we kind of you know, we're, we're trained that from the very young age We have to eat with forks. We have to eat with spoons We have to eat with knives and we have to practice that craft um, and the truth is we don't engage our sense of taste at all unless we're eating burger or a wrap or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was uh, it was amazing. And of course, you being Mauritian, and uh, you know, I just thought who would be the better person to talk about? Well, it? I appreciate that. I'm really honored that because again, when she told me this, you know, Russell, I want to do something, and I'm just like, we do this already. So meaning, my, my family comes from an island called Lille Maurice or Mauritius. It's located on the east coast of Madagascar. Eating with your hands is not something that is faux pas or nothing. Even though that we have our French roots, but we're a mixed culture of like four major uh, 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 races of African, Chinese, South Asian, and French. But um, for us, eating with your hands is not like, whoa, what are you doing? It's like, no, if you want to get into the real flavor, the itty gritty of what the food tastes like, you should eat with your hands. So this, what we have today is a lamb biryani. If you go to a wedding in Mauritius, everybody's eating with their hands because they know the, 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 the benefit of getting the true flavor of eating with your hands. What's the international universal sign of, are you hungry? It's not this, it's this, right? Eating with your hands, right? Why don't you ask me if I'm hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what I would love is, uh, let's yeah. get the show on the road. Let's okay, yeah, let's sit down, let's sit down. Let's, you guys see the food and so. All right, so you can take this. This is yours. You oh, can bring it fantastic, yeah, fantastic. Go ahead. And, oh, you know what? We, we got to do cheers okay. as well. We'll oh. do it at the table. We'll do it at the table. Oh. I'm working right now. Let me put this Oh, I'm on. so sorry, Chef. <laughs> I'm clearly a very bad influence on you. Let's right? set up the cameras right to the table. And All right, we'll I'll walk over. Are... Yeah. I'll walk over, and I'm going to sit in my designated spot. And also, uh, I want to, I have to give a shout out to Dronish Media who is sponsoring us tonight. All right, Chef Russell of Barali, you've had so many dinner parties here yeah. in this place, so yeah. I'm sure this table has some stories, doesn't it? Absolutely. You're sitting in the same chair that the ambassador of Mauritius. You're um, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. that is so The ambassador cool. of uh, Mauritius actually was here. And he had, uh, sorry, I forgot our other dish. All right, um, get it together. I'm sorry. You're on sensual talk, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're live, we're live, we're live. And we're live, and anything can happen. And people who have done live television realize that anything can happen. So, that's right. But that's part of the charm of live television. That's right. All right. Okay. So, what do we have? Um, yeah, so I, I, I've had, I, I've been fortunate to have uh, some people that are just like, you know what, I don't want to uh rent out or, or 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 buy out the restaurant so i can have you know food from a certain person or things like that and so i've been very fortunate to have uh some key people i can't always list them or name them or drop names and things like that but um yeah i've been very fortunate to have some uh key people come here for certain foods and yeah. listen wasn't that prime minister's chef that was right here in this kitchen uh yeah that's right um prime minister's chef 
Yeah. Was in Russell's kitchen. He cooked for him. Yeah, on your show, Pro with right. a different host. Yeah, so we actually did a show. Uh, we had some of the top chefs. Uh, I'm sure I can name them. Uh, Jonathan Collins was uh, the prime minister's chef previously. He's cooked for the Queen. He cooked for uh, President Obama. This is during the time when he was with uh, Stephen Harper, and um, he actually told me that this dish that you're eating right now was one of his top 20 dishes of all time. And he calls it the Lamborghini. <laughs> the Lamborghini. Lamborghini, dish, yeah. Lamborghini right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Amazing. All right, yeah. listen, I'll let you take it away. Tell me okay, what so we're having, what, how we're eating this. This looks delicious. All right, so you, you, you I mean, there, I don't know. There's, it's not about eating with your hands like this or like this. It's, it's more about. So there's your nothing. Tips. There is, right? And so, like, I'm, I'm just going to get into it, right? So, um, if I wanted to try, so we do have an app here. I just actually drizzled some chocolate balsamic vinaigrette right on top of our set. So we're, 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 we're trying to keep the carbs out in the way so we're not having any naan or breads or anything like that with our um, salmon here. So all that you're doing first is taking your kale salad and just getting into a piece of your, yeah, that the fish or that, whatever, all and right. then go ahead. Mm. Oh, that tastes good. Right? That tastes absolutely delicious. But I don't have to ask you. Mm -hmm. You asked me what what is so essential about the experience of eating with your hands. Why don't you tell me what is so essential about eating with your hands? Well, I, uh, be, uh, being raised by a Mauritian uh, family, uh, my mom um, and my sister was it's very common for us to uh, once the baby starts to teeth and they can eat solid foods is a mother would feed their child just like this right to their mouth that's very common and they will do that up until they're six seven even up to ten years old um it's it, it's 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 a imagine the nurturing that you're getting from the mother to child the bond that you're getting where you're eating from the hand you ever hear that term don't don't bite the hand that feeds you? Where does that come from? Absolutely. I don't know where it comes from, but I mean that term, right? So obviously there are cultures in the world. When I lived in Paris, um, there were cultures of, there's a huge Middle Eastern uh, influence there. And I remember being invited to a Lebanese home and I've never experienced this though, like, you know, in my home, in my culture, in Mauritius, but, um, you know, they were like, come join us, sit down and eat. And there was a you know, a plate maybe three times the size of this, and there were three gentlemen around the plate, and they just told you to sit down and said, come in and join. That was a little different for me because, uh, you know, we always enjoy from our own plate, but I, it was something like, you know, that's breaking bread for me. Do you follow me? Like, you're eating it's from bonding. the same plate when you're talking it's about bonding. whatever and, and what's going on, and yeah, so I mean, like, here I am getting into my biryani, I have my lamb, you don't need a knife, you can always break with your hands, things like this, and you're just so taking good. it and you're, and you're getting in there, so. Now, how does this, how does eating with your hands change the taste of your food? Mm, great question. Now you have a mouthful. <laughs> All right. Now, can we toast now? Yeah, sure, I mean, I got some. Because, I mean, really, like I said, I'm here for food and the wine, right? Emmanuel, all right. Thank you very much no problem, for this no experience. Problem. And now that you're washing it down, and I'm just gonna mm. keep on indul indulging in food. Yeah. You tell me, how does eating with your hands change the taste of your food? Well, number one, you have to understand something about. Um, let me let me bring it back even further. Okay, there's um, the let, let's talk about China. Okay, when China was starting to meet the Europeans, one of the first shocking things they ever. A witness was when they were as you would in any country you would come for dinner and sit down they were shocked by for them it was like why are there weapons on the table why are these Europeans have all these weapons on the table I don't know if they're eating with chopsticks back in the day but one of the first things that they were just like whoa why is there like you know there's a knife on the table and things like that right so um, eating with your hands though you have to remember it, it, it takes out that, that that anything that can um, influence the flavor with any type of metal. So it's like if you eat with a golden spoon or a fork or silver or metals, anything like that, there's nothing, especially with food like this, that when you, the natural oils of your fingers that get in here and feed yourself, it's, um, it's extremely bonding. Like back home, um, a newlywed couple 
would eat from the same plate in the beginning. Imagine the intimacy of that bondship of husband and wife, um, you know, from the same plate, or or even feeding each other. You know what I mean? There, there, there's there's also that aspect. Do you follow me? Like in in, in Middle East, um, if your wife was to make you dinner, the it's actually uh, going back time to the prophets is that you know the first person who should eat is that the, the husband would take the first thing and feed his wife first because she made the meal first. Look at that. Like, I'm just saying, there's so much things that if you really, really, really want to um, experience authentic ways of how other cultures. Now, it's great to go and try other people's foods, but then when you're doing it the way that they eat it, um, that's even a plus. There's places in Toronto that I know that um, they have sinks in the, the, the dining area. And it's there for, I remember my wife asked me, why is there a sink, <laughs> you know, at this uh, Pakistani restaurant? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's going to take me a while to make you understand. I got to wait for someone to get up and do it. And yeah, I was eating, eating with my own hands and it wasn't, you didn't feel like, you know, people are watching me or whatever. It's like, no, this is the way you're supposed to do it. Um, and then when you're done, you just go to the sink instead of the bathroom and just wash your hands. It wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You know, I have to tell you, first of all, the food is amazing. Thank you. But I mean, that's Chef Russell and Penthouse Catering. Uh, you know, I remember, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, so Chef Russell actually catered my baby shower, um, uh, you know, and, and the food was so amazing. So I was kind of upset with him for a while because all the people were talking about was not my baby or the pregnant woman. They were all talking about Russell's food. So I was, you know, I, I, he was on my naughty list there for a while. But, uh, but listen, the food is incredible. And, uh, and there really is something very sensual about eating with your hands. I mean, mm. uh, right, it's, it, it's, it, you are you're just getting so in touch with your sense of touch. And I mean, you, we don't even realize what food feels like between your fingers. I mean, really, our hands are clean, right? So this is very, very sterile. Right. And um, it's just amazing. I mean, I never really don't, I don't think I've ever experienced the texture of rice. In your hands, right? In my yeah. hands. I mean, we're, we're not saying awesome. that you have to go eat spaghetti with your hands. I'm not saying that. There's just certain ethnic foods if you were, if, if that you enjoy already, um, if you were to, to experience it, um, the way they do, meaning like the way they would eat at home, which is very common this way. And uh, believe me, if you have a friend, uh, if you don't believe me, if you have someone that's from the Middle East or if you have someone that's South Asian, even in a lot of African countries, um, that would have a piece of banana on the side of their plate and they, they'll mix it with the banana and eat it, ask them and you, you, you'll be surprised. I, I Hopefully they won't be um, embarrassed to admit it, but this is how you... Um, get true flavor of tasting what the food is supposed to be like in your mouth if that makes sense this is amazing yeah. so chef russell very very sensual experience i encourage everyone to try this at home this is truly very unique you can even host a dinner party where you're inviting your guests to eat with their hands i've actually done that before yeah. and uh and and it really is a very different experience just maybe place a bowl in front of them with a little bit of lemon it's it's really simple and i mean it just gives such a different flair to your dinner party and you become one of those very cool hosts who host some of the most incredible dinner parties okay. but chef russell before we go i yeah. have to ask you how do people find you how do people get a hold of you how do people experience the iconic penthouse catering well i mean you can always find us on our website penthousecatering.ca follow us on our social media or if you want to even get an intimate thing, we have actually some of the smallest cooking classes in Toronto. I've um, been to one. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, she was. Uh, we do sushi classes. We do Thai classes. Our classes are up to about 12 people. Very small. Most classes in Toronto are 20 and above. Our classes are from scratch. They're about two and a half hours long. Uh, very affordable. Uh, anybody from the chase, uh, you can bring your children as, as, as up to nine years old and up. Um, yeah, we've taught over 5,000 people in the last two years. It's always growing. We're starting a ninth class in January. So, yeah, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of big things happening for us. Yeah. Chef Russell, I can't thank you enough. All I think right. we're going to wrap this up okay. so we can continue eating uh, like animals, like sensual creatures. There's something so primitive about exactly. this. Exactly. Right? You have to eat this food something, with your hands. Yeah, and something <laughs> so primitive. I, I, feel, I feel so invigorated right now. You know, I feel that... Right. Uh, uh, almost animalistic uh, power within me, sensual power. So this is this is wonderful. Thank you all for joining us for Sensual Talk once again. Thank you very much to Dronish Media for sponsoring yes. this show. Thank you. Uh, and of course, many more to come. Thank you very much for joining us. And we'll see you next time on Sensual Talk. I'm Emanuela Fernandez.
Thank you. No problem. Thank you, girl. That was awesome. That was so much fun. Aww. That was so 